What's happening? Rise up, forty boy here on Nelio Gaming. In this video, we're gonna be checking out Moose Man by Vladimir Beletsky, and sometimes you on the PlayStation Four. Let's jump right in. Я щку безмінам, що ту ще змущила монбудмаса. І віліч туман лампему тус ще жім чапка са жребі. Кую мір баріяма свічіща, кую міроздання ланши браз. Шон віліч біла мусти ще силам куйлому тун фондас. Кув за кув па ще лан кувліч. Фондан тадну віковай знанні. Пемут каджит парма на вілікай. Always go backward. Press L1 to open your artifact collection. Moose Man. A winged Moose Man transverses all three layers of creation. He is accompanied by spirits and a reptile is at his feet. An artifact from the 7th or 8th century from the Choitsko Petkertsky District, Komi. Based on the materials from the book Wonderful Antiques of Riffia. I always, always go backward. And I'm not even necessarily saying that was backward, but most games scroll from left to right, so I always consider that backward. Okay. Jeez. Um, those enemies. Okay, they go away when you press X. But they reappear when you press X again. So you can walk by him, nothing happens. Double tap to move automatically. What the heck is that? Man and Moose Man. An anthro. What is that word? An anthropomorphic statue surrounded by Moose Men. An artifact from the 8th or 9th century from the village of Redicor. Cheridan District, Perma Cray. This artifact was created in the Perm animal style. The animal style includes items artistically cast in metal that depict animals and people alongside animals. 
based on materials from the book Wonderful Antiques of Riffia. Still haven't really figured it out yet. So, no bridge. Bridge. Interesting. Look at the fish jumping out. Oh boy, what is this? Oh jeez, I thought I could creep up closer to him. Just gotta wait it out, wait for him to go back to sleep. Wow, I'm right next to his head. That was crazy. What the heck? Do we have... We already saw that one, what the heck? Didn't it just say that I got another one? Or... I don't know. Uh oh. What the heck? Oh, I need to put the wall up. So he can't get by. Oh no, he can get by. get it <laughs> I fell down <laughs> claws of osh hey look at he's right there right above me press someone to open your artifact okay so we do have another one now bear the bear is a guardian of the lower world. On this artifact, a bear is depicted in sacrifice, sacrificial po in a sacrificial pose, a sixth-century artifact from the Kin River Basin. Lysva 
district perm cray the bear and the moose were sacred animals to the creators of these artifacts bears are rarely depicted in multi-figure compositions based on materials from the book wonderful antiques of Riffia. so it seems like they're all based on materials from the book of wonderful antiques of Riffia. so i'll stop reading that uh, perm animal style by V A Oboren G N Shagnan Perm Publishing House 1988. Yeah, so we'll stop reading the text at the bottom. Let's keep going. Interesting game so far. Idols sing of ancient myths. Press R1 to read them. There we go. Okay, so it was telling me R1. Okay, I get it now. Okay. On the wings of a soaring bird, let me take you to a land of myth. Let my words be seeds that grow in your heart. In a dark and gloomy forest, the seven draws the seven draw lots three worlds await the chosen one who will find shandi's fire deep below the ground listen to the words of an ancient song and learn eternal knowledge in the shadow of cold parma a mighty spirit was chosen does it go down creation of man yen filled the middle world with spirits animals and men he seeded the forest with tall firs and pines, filled with, filled the rivers with fish. He sent good and useful spirits to the middle world and evil spirits to the lower world. And Ash was set to guard the border. Alright, it's still scrambled. Okay, I get it. Sir Yu River. The middle world is separated from the lower by the great... River Suryu. It circles the worlds and shr shrouds the world of the dead from the world of the living. The waters of the Suryu are home to Vakul. He devours all who dare to trespass on his dominion. Only the ones who know have the knowledge to find a bridge that leads from the one world to another. There are other rivers that flow between the worlds. I kind of wish I fell in that river now. I kind of wish I did because maybe I could have met him. And maybe there would have been a PlayStation trophy involved. That's what I really am interested in. Bear Feast. A hunter must do many things if he wishes to hunt Osh. Osh is immortal and only temporarily gives his meat to the hunter. It is forbidden to speak during the hunt. As Osh will hear, and the hunter will become the hunted. A great feast is normally held after Osh is caught. Osh's head must be sacrificed to his father, yet, in a multitude of songs, must be sung to hide from to hide from him those that brought him sleep. Osh. Osh the bear lies silently as guardian of the underworld only the dead can walk freely to the kingdom of death so no spirit from the world of the living nor any man can get past Osh that is why a hunter that kills a bear must pay him great respect all right we're all caught up What is that? I want to see what that is. What is this? Is it going to eat me? He moves a little bit. He needs to come this way though so I can get up there.
There we go. Idol sing of ancient myths. Chud. The spirits are called Chud. Some were created by Yen himself at the dawn of creation, but others were born later. They are the dead that did not walk the final road. Some are useful and some help us. Some are evil and can bring misfortune. There are spirits everywhere and if you understand their behavior, you can control them. glitched out that was weird the game just like bugged out and it like I couldn't see anything What's that in the sky? Hey, I just fell again. Hey! I feel like I missed one. Or two or three. Pendant base. The base of a horse shaped pendant. 9th or 10th century from the village of Car Carino. Ganey District. Perm Cray. Final road. The idols sing. Final road. When we die, our spirit, which we call the Orc, walks along the final road. It travels through all the three worlds and finally reaches the Iron Mountain of the Ancients. All the spirits know about the final road and thus help the Orc. this guy uh oh oh okay why did that guy have red eyes right there Oh, they, they attack you. Okay, okay, I get it now.
What the heck? I don't understand. So you can or can't walk past them. You can? Sir, you swamp. The Ork walks along the Suryu River that flows through the underworld. Sinful souls drown in the river and rot there forever. Thousands of these foul souls transformed into a disgusting liquid. And so the river became a black swamp, thick as tar. When your time comes, you must walk boldly for there is no way back. You must walk boldly. Okay, so just go for it. We're just going to go for it. Walk boldly, it says. Oh boy. Men... Menkvis? The Menkvis were among the first spirits that Yen created. He gave them immortality, but no consciousness. They stand silently in special places. The men, men, Menkvis of the woods rise above the highest trees. The Menkvis of the swamps stare into the fog for eternity. And the Menkvis of the lakes drink water so that it later falls as rain. Walk confidently. See, that's bull right there. See, why did that one guy get me right there? I was walking just like I am right now. Thank you, sir. Hey. Oval plaque. An oval plaque showing a human face and two reptiles. Eighth or ninth century from the village of Yan Yanidar. Sheridan District, Perm Cray. Some of the artifacts were found at burial sites, some in ruined settlements in places of sacrifice. The rest were found in treasure troves or outside historical sites. This item is most accurately categorized as part of the Siberian animal style. What the heck? Am I stuck? There we go. What the heck?
Ah, uh, yeah. It worked. I like these guys. I mean, they walk slow, but they're cool. They got my back. Oh, what do we got here? What's that? You coming? Or is that as far as you go? Это вели корешок мой шикрей потвожлен там. Сечеч корпут вори, кама испондет ащи солан. Край ты муджит океана, утка у из волна из утка кольти шогмис, ин прародитель мортезлан, не до джавермас, мортлан кириш и буддухлан родный ай, котлан кышиш мир и шогмис, волон мир и шариш мир, улыш мир шогмис вауфта, котан вели пему джир. All right. Lower world. Okay, we made it out of the first world. Uh, the middle world. Now we're in the lower world. Oh, there it is to the left. So it looks like we missed two. Man and Moose Man. Right? Yeah. Man and Moose Man. A small plaque showing a full-length human figure with two moose men 7th or 8th century from the village of Sursiaki Sheridan district uh, Permcray. Most of the artifacts were found in ancient sanctuaries that are called Kasiyasha boneyards because most discoveries from them are bones are the bones of sacrificial offerings made to the pagan gods and spirits interesting it's a cool game I like it different it's definitely different myths next page oh okay there we got the golden age it's a new one the golden age the ground was rich and the barley grew in rich abundance the sky was close to the ground and one could pluck the birds from their starry path with bare hands Men cut down the barley with an, with an awl until one day one of them found a sickle. But the sickle fell from his hands and he cut off his head in its fall. His body fell to the ground and became the gates for the malevolent spirits of the lower world. The sky fled the filth of the lower world and became untouchable. The man's body still lies on the border of the worlds. Wow, that's gruesome. So that's where I'm going to end my first gameplay with The Moose Man by Vladimir Boletsky and sometimes you on the PlayStation 4. I do appreciate you watching on Nelio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nelio Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me here on Nelio Gaming. So definitely an interesting story. It's got collectibles and... I love collectibles, so I'm a little disappointed that I missed one. Well, at least it seems like I missed one. And I'm interested in the story. It's it's deep. It's it's interesting. It's it's very like tribal and and old and you know, there's there's a deeper meaning to it. You got these uh these like totem totem pole type statues um and then you got all these artifacts that have like this history and it seems like it's like real world history that these artifacts are telling the story about so I want to do a little digging and find out a little bit more about the background of this game and I'll definitely let you guys know in the next video or in the comment section below if you guys want to see more gameplay I'd love to hear it so let me know down in the comment section if you have any questions leave them down there that's gonna do it for this gameplay I'll see you in the next one